Well, there you saw it again, the finish. Uh, Thomas Hearns with his knockout victory over Juan rolled in. Now look at this, folks. This, I think, is the first time since that big night in Las Vegas you saw, you have seen Sugar Ray Leonard and Marvelous Marvin Hagler together. Have you guys seen each other since the fight? No, I haven't. Well, if one said it, the other had to say the same thing, I'm sure. Now, I know that uh, Marvelous Marvin thinks he won that fight, Ray. He wants a rematch. There's been speculation about you and Roald Dan. If Roald Dan won the fight, he didn't. Are you interested in a fight at all? And would Thomas Hearns be in your plans if you are? Well, you know, Tim uh, and Marvin knows this fully well because we both stated that one fight, one fight only. I think that was our main plan to go through with this lucrative fight that we had in April, and the rest would be history. Uh, I fulfilled my dream, and uh, I have nothing else to prove. You're not planning, nor could you be drawn back into the ring? No, I, uh, you know, again, it wasn't for the title or for history. It was just a matter of, you know, uh, beating this great man here. And that is done, and I'm quite satisfied. All right, marvelous Marvin Hagler, you have not officially retired from anything. On the other hand, you haven't indicated what you want to do next. Can you tell us now? I'm going to sit back and evaluate the situation, give myself a little time. The only reason that I want to come out would be for Ray and for him with my belt. Other than that, it would be only a personal, a personal matter. But well, that's, that would be the only alternative for me to come out of retirement. So even if what you suggested uh, you would like to see happen, the title united by the three new champions, that would not, that winner would not bring you out. Well, you know what happened. Everybody know what happened. The world know what happened. Politics played a big part in this. I was stripping me from my belt. They couldn't want me to take it from me the right way. They did it the only way they knew how. Now there's three champions. There's a middleweight model out there. All right, so it would take forever for you to get an opportunity at any kind of a uh, one champion after they attempt to unify. For, from Ray's point of view, you're indicating that uh, you were the undisputed champion after you beat Marvin Hagler. Your journey is over. I beat this man fair and square. Marvin knows if he reviewed the tapes. I beat you fair and square, Marvin. It was not politics. I think it was, it was bad sportsmanship on your part to say that. I beat you. You didn't think I could go the distance, right? You didn't think I could go to the distance? You thought you was going to knock me out? Everyone out here said one round, two rounds. All the sports writers, they said that. It wasn't true. Now they can't explain the unexplainable. Well, it was a split decision. Let's not deny that. It wasn't, it was not a. This man still had my belt, and we could go at it one more time. Well, he doesn't have your belt. Now. This time I'll make more money. Uh huh. Now there's the first clue. This time. I'm talking man. This time you want to make more money. Oh, yeah. well, you know what's so exciting about it? It was very nice, though, being involved with one of the biggest fights in the world. That was very nice. And uh, to that point, that I felt that I've achieved the biggest thrill in my life. I think you opened the door again. What we're going to do, you go ahead and knock Tommy out. I'll go ahead and take care of Frank Tate. Then we probably get together. No, let's just wait. Let's wait them all fight. You get in there and get my belt back, and then we go at it again. Let's get a tune-up, man. I mean, really. I mean, I don't need no tune-up. I need a tune-up. I'm ready.